This is a team that is going to be looked at as backing into this Final Four. There's a lot of people at home right now shouting because of what they last saw from Ohio State. Ohio State 11 and 1, and they'll have to wait and see what comes their way after losing to Michigan. What do you see in your team right now as we prepare for the Peach Bowl versus what you saw from them before the season finale against Michigan? You know, you just you have some regret and sitting around for a week and knowing that the season may be over is a hard feeling. It's 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 not good. And then to, to have life put back into you, knowing that you have that other opportunity. Now you, you got to go play with no regrets. So when you have a second shot at this thing that maybe you didn't have a week or two or three weeks ago, you know, it gives you that perspective that maybe you didn't have a month ago. What perspective do you have now that you didn't have a month ago? Uh, if we're going to win this game, we have got to play every single play like our hair's on fire. We got to play physical. We got to play tough. We got to play fast. And we have to execute at a high level in order to beat Georgia. I don't know the energy in here after a, a setback and a frustration like that Michigan game. What is the energy in here and how does it impact you personally? Our number one goal every year is to win the rivalry game. And that didn't happen. So when you win 11 straight games but lose that game and uh, you feel like the, game, the season's a failure, it, it takes a little time to recover from. But we got right back to work. And that's the only way you move forward is get back into the game. And then once everything fell into place and, and we ended up getting into the CFP, you know, you could just see the energy level. You could just see the look in the guy's eyes like, okay, we got an opportunity here. I think there's been electricity of practice. There's been an energy about the building. And, and people are walking around with a purpose. You talk about energy in a building. There's no better way to get redemption to try to stand up to Georgia Kirby Smart in that building. It'll be a premier matchup. One of the challenges in Atlanta will be that it's all but a home game for the University of Georgia. What challenge does that present when you're right there in their backyard? You know, you know it's going to be hard. You know they're defending national champs. You know we're going to be underdogs. You know we're going into their backyard. All of the above is going to be hard. Good. That's the way we have to look at it. The team that can handle the ups and downs and the, the good plays, the leads, the, the being from behind, the, the halftime, all those ups and downs typically comes out on top.